Okay, it's Saturday morning. I worked all night. The last two hours, nothing happened. I had a few drams to drink so far. I started out with a, um, a Lefroig 10 year old because I was experiencing a bit of a cough. So I drank some Lefroig 10 year old and that helped. And then I had some Kalila, 12 year old, while talking to my mother on Skype. And the Kalila was medicinal and it helped uh, clear up my throat because I had a sinus thing a couple days ago and that kind of like gravitated down towards my throat and, and the throat was feeling kind of raw and I was coughing and not feeling so good. After the Kalila, I had some Ardbeg 10, which also helped a lot. So we've done peat, peat, peat. And then I thought, what to go to after the peat? What should I go for? Um, I went for some Glengarry Founders Reserve, which was a nice little break from the peat, but it had a stronger, higher alcohol content. And it's like, mm, that's really good for my throat, and it feels better already. Let me just cleanse my palate somewhat. Then I thought of this little tube here that I bought last week. It is a Lafroig Cardias. Now the reason I'm going to pop this one right now is because it is, uh, it's the 2014 version. Apparently there's a 2015 version now, but I went to my specialty liquor store and they had the 2014, 2014 version of Cardias, which I should have been able to get a year ago, but was only on the shelves now. So somebody's been keeping that in the back of the stock room and uh, slowly releasing it before the big release in November. And November is going to be a big release of all these Scotch whiskeys that they've been holding back all year. Well, the new stuff. Anyway, I thought in order to perfect the cure of my cold or flu or Whatever the freaking bug is, it's in my throat. You can hear my voice is all uh, hoarse. But the, the nose, the nose is drying up somewhat. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, the nose and sinuses are pretty much dried out, but the throat is still kind of bothered. So we'll get some of this. Whoa, what's this? This is a Lafroig passport. <laughs> Lafroig passport. Oh, this is uh, this is good. Uh, let's do this again. There we are. Lafroig Cardias, bottled in 2014, 51.4 alcohol percent by volume. Uh, the writing is too small to read on this thing because I'm not wearing my reading glasses. These are my driving and seeing the dashboard glasses. I'm not driving anywhere right now. I'm, I've had too much to drink. Uh, master distiller, blah, 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 ha, ha, ha. Okay. This is a, a special Lefroy, which is aged not only in ex-bourbon barrels, but in sherry casks to some extent. I haven't tried this one since the whiskey festival because it's hard to find. It's rare. I was looking for some triple wood and I found a triple wood but when I saw this next to the triple wood ugh, I couldn't help it. I had to get this one. I had to get this whiskey because it's hard to find so I thought pop this one. Ooh. Oh that was a nice Lefroy pop. It's a dirty glass but what was in here before is the stuff that I drank already, so it uh, should be okay. 
Let's give a nice generous, or well, most, most generous, most generous little gram of La Fruig Cardias, which has something to do with friendship. Um, what do I remember? Um, for the friends of La Fruig, the most richly flavored of all Scotch whiskeys. And so on, and so on, and so on. Well, okay. have another look at this one. It's the one with the yellow label on the bottom here. It is the Lefroy, the 200 year anniversary of Lefroy, but this one was bottled in the year 199. Mm, medicinal right away. Medicinal, medicinal, medicinal. It's like opening up the uh, first aid kit. Mm. Ah, I feel better already. It's so medicinal. I do smell peat. A fair amount of peat, but it's not as overpowering as it could be. It doesn't say anything about... I am dead. You know what's happening is there's a lot of peat, but there's a lot of alcohol. So the alcohol is uh, sort of toning down the peat. It's like acting as an anesthetic so you don't get the full feeling of what's going on. It smells like alcohol and, you know, it doesn't smell as much of peat as it would. Uh, each year, our master distiller, John Campbell, handcrafts a limited edition well, to celebrate friendship. Uh, there is the Cardias. Includes double matured Lafroig from bourbon barrels and Amontillado seasoned traditional hogsheads. This results in a unique expression to be savored by friends of Lafroig, old and new. Lafroig Cardias, friendship distilled. Aha! How much better can it get? Mm, too bad I don't have anyone to share this with. I'm all alone. I must be my own best friend. Ah, here we go. Ah. Oh, rich and powerful. And it cleans out all those sinuses that are full of goop and gunk. There's a clean, tarry freshness to it. Uh, mm, there is there's a fruity hint from the sherry hogsheads. Mmm. You know, what I like about this is that the fruity flavors are not fighting the tar and the peat. The fruity complements the tar and the fleet. The, the tar and the peat. That's what I wanted to say. This has, there's a compliment, a complimentary, fruity and tarry. Eh. And I really prefer this to something like, you know, it's a non-age statement. It doesn't say how old the whiskeys are in here. It doesn't say how old the youngest is or whatever. But it's got... It's got some powerful character without the, the contents or without the ingredients fighting each other. They actually mold together. Mm. Unlike, as I said, the um, Ardbeg Ugadal, which I think there's too much fighting between the 
peat and the fruit. Here it's like, it's a lighter fruit. It's, it's, the amontillado is not as, as, as um, heavy as the other sherry. I'm trying to remember what the name of that sherry was. Was it Pedro Jimenez? Or was it, um, oh, don't you hate that? It must be because I drink so much scotch that I don't remember what the name of that sherry was. Um, not Pedro Jimenez. Anyway, the Amontillado, I like Amontillado. You know, ever since I read the Edgar Allan Poe, Fortunato, Casco Amontillado, it's like Amontillado is like, mm, Amontillado. But of course, there's that ex bourbon thing too going on. That ex bourbon. Is it a sweetness? Yeah, it's a sweetness. There's a bit of caramel in there. There's a bit of um, vanilla. Yeah, you know, you'd think with a heavily peated whiskey, you won't get to so much of it. But once you get past the peat, and the peat is somewhat toned down by the amontillado, they don't fight each other. I think they complement each other, and they, they make for a... For a nice, a really fine dram, you know. I'm talking about friendship. I mean, true friendship, real friendship, the kind of friendship that you can rely on. Uh, this particular dram is my friend. Yeah. I love this stuff. This one, this one will be savored slowly, very slowly, until of course I can afford or find another bottle. I may not be able to find this again. 2014 Cardias. Maybe a year from now I'll be able to find the 2015 towards the end of 2016. But then we have the Whiskey Festival coming up soon. I should check in when I can buy tickets for that. Anyway, this is, uh, this is damn good stuff. Ah. I will, I will, you know, refrain from waxing poetic and everything. I, I should go to sleep, but I don't feel like it yet because I feel like just savoring this and enjoying it. Oh. oh, just the right amount of peat, just the right amount of fruit, the right amount of sweetness. This is a really beautiful dram. If you're, well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't force this on a novice. But for the experienced whiskey drinker who's not afraid of peat and of some sherry, but not too much, a nice balance. This is a nice balance. I like it a lot. And I see that I did not waste my money when I went for this rather than the triple wood, which I will try. Oh, fuss. 14 minutes and 41 seconds. I should stop right about now. Food quick. 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 Food quick.